Boom, there it is. Okie dokie. So welcome everybody. Good evening. Happy Take Profit Tuesday again. And um, this will be quite light today. We want to just do a business building for beginners, kind of an introduction to, um, you know, what you have in your back office and um, knowing that building a business, um, especially in, you know, the business that we're in, which is a business of network marketing and investments, a lot of this is about mindset and self-development. Um, and when you kind of, some, sometimes you don't realize that this is something that you have available or that you've even opted in for, but then all of a sudden, you know, there might be people that they're looking to you for answers and you, you know, you don't really have a clue of what to do and how to move. So really, really important to make sure that you guys are equi equipped because this is your legacy that you're building, you know, um, my accountability once said to me that your trading money will make you rich, but your residual money will make you wealthy, meaning it's something that continues and continues and um, will go deep um, as long as it's built correctly. Um, and I want you guys to be able to work smart and have the upper hand. So that's what these um, sessions are going to be. So um, let's get into it really quickly and let's start at the beginning, like who we actually are, our background um, and how we came to have this amazing um, academy, which services both customers and business builders, why we've got the two merged together. Um, those, those of you may or may not know. Um, may or may not know our CEO, Christopher Terry. Maybe this is the first time you've heard of him, maybe not. But I want to start with this um, this short clip from our virtual convention. So you get to kind of meet him and, you know, understand his mind and his heart um, to what you guys have essentially subscribed to. So um, pens and papers at the ready. And uh, we want to give him a thanks for allowing us to come together as an organization. <laughs> is that sideways for you guys? That's weird. It is. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea why it's sideways. Can we flip it round? So this is a great start. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. And uh, we want to give him a thanks for allowing us to come together as an organization to have given me the seed, weird. the idea, a seed of information in so you're gonna have to watch it a little bit and uh, we want to give him a thanks for allowing it. for allowing us to come together as an organization to have given me the seed the idea a seed of information in 2012 planted a seed in my brain that turned into a forest so we want to thank god everybody just give it up to god right here Secondly, uh, Isis, the queen, you know, she, um, she met me, uh, I went out, it was uh, 1990, I was living on a friend's sofa in his apartment, a little teeny apartment, I had lost my businesses, I had just, I was a complete mess, and I met her, we crossed paths. And 30 years later, we're here. But what happened during that time was she met a guy who had a dream, had a vision, but financially was destitute. I, I had the mind that I was the boss. Even when I met her, when I first met her, she said, who are you? I said, I'm the boss. I didn't have two cents in my pocket. I had nothing in my pocket. I was completely broke. I actually went financially bankrupt at the time I met her. I actually went to a, a lawyer and went financially bankrupt. So when I met her, I was bankrupt, broke, busted, disgusted, could not be trusted. I was in the streets. And I'm not going to get into that part. But the fact is, she was a very successful bank executive in New York City. Worked at the big offices with the big traders. She has license after license after license after license in the financial markets and she was very very successful and she saw a guy me that had a dream a desire but had no direction and she got behind me and said you know what let me get behind you what do you want to do right she pulled me off the sofa she put me into a beautiful apartment we lived in new york city and she took care of all the finances. 
And eventually, I wanted to start my own business, my own construction business. And her and I, we started the business. I had some relationships that I rekindled. And we built a mega business. We were doing upwards of 50 to $60 million a year in sales. It was very, very successful. And from there, led me into other things. During that time, during the 90s, I found Amway. And to me, aside from IM Mastery Academy, this is, that is one of the greatest companies of all time. It's actually the company that all network marketing sprouted from. So we have to kind of thank them for being in business and being successful at it and always doing it with class. Wow, wow, wow. So there you go. You get a little snippet into and, uh, want... the brain of um, the Academy, the man behind the Academy, Christopher Terry. I think it's always good to know where you're coming from, to know where you're going and understanding, you know, um, why we have this model. And today, looking at the business side, he, you know, he's just let you get a snippet of his story, but he's a very, very... Um, He's a genius when it comes to business and um, on the outside, you know, sometimes he looks like he, there's, he's, he's a bit crazy, he's a bit wacky. And when he had this idea of merging, you know, both network marketing and um, these Forex markets together, he was laughed at by all his peers. Being a Wall Street trader for 30 years, they said that the normal person, the average person, they don't have access to enough disposable to be able to trade with, you know, and he was able to, through his inspiration, through and his, con his connections, to merge the two so that you would have the average person, the average Joe Blow, you know, you could bring Wall Street to Main Street and allow them to trade big, allow them to have access to OPM. Um, and it's it's, a, it's an amazing model that's working for, it's, it's turned over more six and seven figure earners than the lottery has. Um, only 20% of the whole entire academy actually leveraged this side of the business. So the fact that you guys are here today to find out a little bit more um, is amazing because you're part of the very small percentage. And we already know the stats, you know, when it comes to the five percenters and the 95 percenters um but this is a space that really is you know wide open what we have in our hands really is unique because our service our product is money you know it's education um, and it's something that you guys can really take to the moon and i want you guys to be able to do that effectively so you guys have died you guys are all rich you know you're part of rich university for those who are new you might not have an understanding of why rich why now like what exactly is rich you know what's the point what's the difference i just want to you know watch them videos and you know make a million dollars in my pajamas and um, but rich university we're actually a fintech startup you know we're financial financial technical startup company and um, financial financial literacy um, and skill set is a part of our mo and um, but we're a mission-based movement you know we're bigger than just the physical skill set side you know we are a god aligned movement you know our ceo dr china Bethley, as you see there had a vision and um, that she wanted to impact nations for generations one million families is our goal to be in exact you know it's a goal of impact that is built on relationships one of our solid pillars results and residual relationships results and residual and residual is the, is the part that in these in this series in these trainings that we're going to be learning how to really really you know tap into effectively but rich is not just about being physically rich when people think about rich you probably think about money right being rich what rich stands for the r in rich for those who don't know it's royal we believe that we are all child of the one true king, the most high royalty, you know, you are rich because you are royal. The I in rich, it stands for being inspirational, being an inspiration to others, you know, being a point of contact, the house on the hill, you know, in your world, you know, what are those things in your wildest dreams that you want to achieve? We want to bring that inspiration out of you. You know, we want to give you a vehicle so that you can live out the greatest gifts that God has given you, right? And be an inspiration to people that have your story, that have, you know, been through things that you've been through, who look like you, talk like you, sound like you, um, and those who will flow from you. Um, and then you have the C in rich, which is courage. Courage is really important in an, in an industry where we're talking about $6.7 trillion a day. If you've ever heard the term scared money don't make money, it's never been more important in this industry. But when you're talking about building a business, you're talking about building self. You're talking about really developing, you know, um, 
your strengths and also working on you know some weaknesses that you have and a lot of people don't really like to um, have the accountability which en enables them to grow because throughout this journey while you're here you're definitely going to have to grow to the next level there's no way to go up without going through it growing through it and and being bold about investing being bold about the things that you want is imperative so there's that lion again our you know our logo the courage the confidence of a lion but amongst all, what I would say is most important that you're going to really need in this game is your humility, the ability to stay humble, because a lot of you may be established, you know, you may be doctors, lawyers, you know, professionals already have a career, you know, that has been very successful for many years. And the hardest thing sometimes when you are established is to now start taking direction and instruction at a ground zero level, right? And, um, you know, a lot of this is going to be about what you can learn and apply, you know, and that's going to mean that you're going to have to be very coachable to do that because this is a realm that we've been locked out of and we didn't even know that this existed and um, it's not new it's just new to us so there's going to be a, a lot of coachability required you know when you're building your business you know even when you're learning and developing the skill set okay hopefully you guys are following me you guys are really quiet i mean that's fine you can drop um, yes. stuff in the chat yes that was awesome. a good just brought about yes it's you on point thank you Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes you have to check, right? I have to check the laptop still on. I'm not talking to myself. So again, just to reiterate, you guys can definitely take screenshots. Um, this is this is us. This is who we are. You know, we're a mission-based movement. What is our mission? To impact nations and generations. What's the goal of the mission? That one million families will be financially free. One million families will have this skill set. And you are instrumental in that one million families. First of all, you are one of those one million families. But from you, there will also be more that will be blessed to be a blessing. Um, and there you go, our three solid pillars and our amazing fearless leader dr china bethley the founder of this whole entire rich movement okay so just really quickly and um, we spoke a little bit about this is going to be a lot of mindset and um, but there is a skill set that you guys are here to learn okay you enrolled into an academy an academy is a school you know schools teach skills and skills pay bills the skill set here is a very small part of it. And what we're going to be covering in this series is that the 5% is taken care of, okay? The customers that come into your business, they are serviced. They have everything they need in the academy. You're effectively um, a professional GPS that is just going to be able to guide people to the information that they need. Um, but when it comes, um, well, what is the skill? What is the skill? The skill is basically when to enter and when to exit, okay? When we're talking about trading, we're talking about investments. That's simply it. You know, you guys had an amazing charting session and all those lines and fancy graphs and everything you drew today was just so that you knew the best time to enter, the best price, you know, and when to get out. That's it. Once you found a way to, you know, master that, as people like to say, that truly is the skill set. But if that's it, if it's so easy when they get in and when it's only two things, right, 50-50, then why is there not everybody winning in this space? Why is it that 90% of traders fail? You know, why is it that most people have blown accounts and not grown accounts? Because the truth of the matter is that the other 95% is actually the most important. And that is, don't know where that slide is, but that is definitely the mindset piece. Okay, that is definitely the mindset piece. And so a lot of this is going to be thinking and growing rich. Who's ever heard of that before, right? It's going to be about your desire, you know, your rich decision making when you're in trades, you know, even, you know, in business, all of this, it's going to be your fear versus your faith. Remember, we talked about courage, your fear versus your faith. What is it that you believe versus, you know, what your flesh is actually kind of wanting you to shrink back to because it's a little bit too scary. Um, and the truth of the matter is, you know, how you feel. Yes, it's important, but how do you feel? How do you feel about the decision that you've made? How do you feel about your desires? You know, how do you feel about being in this space? Because it's going to be really difficult for you to be blessed by something that maybe you're not, you know, too clear on. Maybe you're a little bit, you know, ashamed of it. You want to just kind of keep this to yourself, right? Um, but I also want to, you guys to activate compassion. You know, compassion is not something that maybe in our culture, we've been big on learning how to have compassion for self, right? You just kind of get on with it. But today, if you guys, if this is your first day, second day, your third month, fourth month, even your ninth month, however old you are, 
it's taken you this amount of years to know everything that you know for society to train you and to wash your brain and build in a belief system that is the reason why you operate in the way you operate the reason why you know whatever it is that you do and why you do it it's all being however old you are in the making right well today or however many months rich or days you are, you are reborn rich, okay? Congratulations, welcome to the rich world. And so now you're two days rich or one week rich, or hear me say all these terms all the time, you're nine months rich. So give yourself that grace, you know, you're relearning. You know, a nine month old can't even walk. They don't, they don't talk very well. They still need, you know, help with eating. And this is what's gonna happen in this series. You're going to get equipped with the tools that you need to become, you know, to grow those muscles, to grow those, you know, those rich legs so that you can, and run and sprint and really really build your business effectively okay so when we're thinking about this you're still an investor you know you're an investor you're like a talent scout in this business but there is some unique traits mindset traits remember this is mindset that investors have you know they have a unique set of traits you know and habits they have long-term thinking rather than short-term thinking their perspective is completely different. The perspective that we've been trained to have maybe is on a 30 day, you know, every 30 day period because you've got the bills to pay at the end of the month and you're paid maybe every two weeks or 30 days. And as long as you can just get to the end of the month and get them bills paid, you know, you're good, right? Um, where in as an investor, think a little bit long-term. You do things today that maybe don't reap a return today. You know, anyone heard of the term you don't plant the seed and reap the fruit the same day? You know, there's certain habits that you're going to have as an investor. Those habits are going to form and um, form your lifestyle. They're just routines and things that you do day in, day out, day in, day out, what you're going to be learning throughout, you know, this journey and um, that are going to form the kind of results that you have. You know, we know what perspective is. It's basically how you look at things. Two people can look at the same thing and have completely different perspective. You know, somebody who is an amateur looks at their account in, you know, um, 5% drawdown, but thinks because they're looking at the dollar amount that they're losing all their money. Where an investor looks at that, that their money is working really hard and that that 5% drawdown is going to afford them a 50% reward, a 20% yield, right? Different perspective, okay? So in essence, when you change the way you look at things, what you look at actually changes. And that's gonna be a big on building your mindset, you know, throughout this series and throughout your journey here. And this is a day-to-day -day thing. It's not all gonna, you know, happen overnight. That's why we do things every single day. You know, anyone who reads the word know that you have to die to self every single day. Any chance that, you know, the enemy gets, any any chance that your flesh gets is gonna creep in with distraction. It's gonna creep in with, um, you know, limiting beliefs. It's gonna creep in with doubt. Every single time you think you're sure you've got something, you you know, here comes doubt, here comes fear, here comes anxiety. And um, so we start our days a certain way here. We start them richly. Shout out all my daily declarees. You know, a lot of you jump on Clubhouse and do this um, with us as a family, as a community every single day. We read these daily rich declarations, something that is the cornerstone of this entire movement. I really believe that we wouldn't have the results that we have today. We wouldn't have the impact that we had today if our confession wasn't on point and we weren't declaring the things that we've declared, written down, made plain, you know, when speak out of our mouth. So I want you guys to make sure if you are brand new, that first of all, you know that this is happening um, every single day on Clubhouse, but you have a copy of it. You know, you have these somewhere and you read them. Just make that be part of your daily routine. You know, they're amazing, truly amazing, okay? And um, the other thing is also what you're going to be paying your attention to. We're going to start having reading lists on here. Everybody, you know, if you've been on Road to Riches, you've seen that we've talked about Think and Grow Rich probably till we're blue in the face. Some of you who are new may never have heard of Think and Grow Rich. This is almost like the foundational, you know, self-development mindset, wealth attracting, um, wealth attracting self-help book, right? It goes through 13 principles um, and there's an audio which we read 10 minutes of a day. And um, most of you uh, that, have, that have already been rich a couple of months probably have read this or listened to this 10 times over. But it's really important what you fill your ear gates with because what you hear, you actually believe believe okay and what you believe is what you receive and um, so we'll be going through different reading lists in this series because that's going to be very important in your self-development okay
that. Also, I want you guys to know, make a note of this. Those that are new, those who are not new, if you're interested in building a business, if you're interested in having a multi-billion dollar franchise, then Perfect 10 should be a call that is standard for you. In fact, that should be the, the, the call that you is your appointment viewing, that you, 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 you make sure that you're on, because this is where we really get the tools that are effective in building that's the side that we don't get a lot of information on in the academy this is where we get the accountability this is where we get the structure day to day you know of building our business that's where you get the community support encouragement to see other people what they're doing what's working for them you know that's where we get to affirm you know that's where we come together we pray together you know a rich call it ain't a rich call if we don't open that thing up in prayer and where you learn how different ways to expose your business and i've got to say since we've had perfect sentence about september we've definitely me personally it's definitely 10x my business personally um, and every single person that i've seen that, I've, that attends this like i said what you do daily the habits that you form you want to be forming rich habits you want to be, for, be forming wealthy habits so perfect 10 tuesday to thursday and um, 3 p.m gmt 10 a.m est please, please, please make sure that you guys at least attend one of these a week. And if you don't, you know, it shows in your actions. Do you ask for the playback that if there was a playback so you can go back and listen? Um, and if you have a playback, do you forward that out to the people, you know, that are now part of your lineage? But don't worry, we're going to be going through how to um, look after that downline as well. Did somebody unmute real quick? Somebody unmute? Okay, no problem. So... I want to talk about this. I want to talk about access. I want to talk about access, okay? I want to talk about access because access is definitely your success, right? Access is your success. Um, and without access, none of you guys would be here. You know, you wouldn't be on this call. Um, and it's definitely transformative and not something to be taken for granted. And something that throughout this series that you're going to be the plug for, um, you know, when it comes to growing your business. Um, because the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, oh, sorry, one second. Let me let this person in. The truth of the matter is, if nobody gave you access, you wouldn't be here, right? If you didn't play it forward, you know, you wouldn't be here if you wasn't given this opportunity. And um, so your access is now, now you're able to play the access forward as well. And um, so through your access, you now have the keys to open the right doors, okay? You've been shown a vehicle, this amazing academy, um, and now you're able to open the doors to your financial future. You'll be, you're able to turn your smartphone, um, you, you turn your dumb phone into a smartphone, right? You're able to basically be a citizen of a wealth community, okay? That's something that is definitely not been afforded to people like us for, you know, generations. So definitely don't take that, that lightly. And you pay for your access. You've paid for this access. So taking that seriously and understanding, okay, now I've paid for this, you know, how do I get my return? Because that's what investors always want to know. You know, how do I get my return? So you guys are in. Congratulations. You made it, you know, into the royal kingdom. Um, but what next now? Now you're in. Do you have the belief? You know, what do you believe? You know, do you believe that this could work for you? Do you believe this is something that you can do? Because to be honest, we can give you all the training. You know, we can give you all of the, you know, the, the videos. You can be marking up charts all day. But if you don't believe this can work, then you're going to believe what you receive, whether it's true or not. Okay. So you've got the keys. You've been given a plan, a GPS. But do you believe that it's really going to work for you? Because faith, having the belief, it's not just something that, you know, is a noun. It's actually a doing word. You know, you have to take the first step on the staircase where you don't even know, you know, what the rest of it looks like. OK, and so what you believe is going to impact what you do, what you believe is going to impact what you do. And the funny thing about your belief is that it's yours. I can't give you my belief. It's only your belief that matters. I mean, I can believe in you, but I can't do your believing for you. And no matter how much I believe in you, if you don't connect your belief, you know, um, if, you, if you don't have a connection with your belief, it won't work. It just won't work. This won't work for you. So these are the ABCs to your success. So if that's um, the A was access and the B was belief, what do you guys think the C is? What do you guys think the C is? Well, the C, ladies and gentlemen, is that commitment. Commitment. And as you see, you can see a gym right there. You can see gym equipment because I relate commitment like going to the gym. 
because you can sign up for the gym. You can subscribe into the gym, like you subscribe into the academy. You can get the best package. You can put yourself on the Zumba class on Mondays, the spinning class on Tuesdays. You know, you can subscribe to all of those things. But if you never, ever get on that equipment, if you never show up you should, for what you've subscribed to, then you ain't going to get the six pack. <laughs> that's, it's, that's just not how it works, right? If you don't actually show up and use the equipment, then you're not going to be able to reap the benefits. And it's the same here. So are you committed? You know, are you actually committed? Now you believe that you're, that you can do this. Like what do your actions look like? You know, because if you don't use the equipment consistently, you're not going to see the results. Okay, you're not going to see the results. Looking at a treadmill doesn't bring about a six pack, you know, knowing that your academy is there, you know, and logging in and not actually watching or doing anything doesn't mean that you're going to get those results. Right. So I want you guys to be really, really clear um, that commitment always equals results. There's no way to be committed to something and not get the results because all a winner is, is somebody who didn't quit quit someone who committed okay doesn't mean that there's not going to be mistakes along the way you know doesn't mean that you're not that you're going to know 100 percent you know of everything what you have to you know what you have to do um but you stay on it you keep going you keep going you keep going right and the truth is that you don't have to be um, an expert you don't have to be great but you do have to start and you do have to keep putting one foot in front of the other that's the only way that you get to the finish line and most people don't actually make it not just in spaces like this but in general when it comes to achieving the things that they want because they didn't go all the way you know they didn't go all the way they start to compare themselves to others and comparison will be the biggest stealer of joy you know in fact when i think of comparison and um, in line in alignment with commitment i think about cutting grass you know i think about what it, what it means to have green grass because when you've you've heard this the, the the grass is greener right people are looking at okay well she's been in here two months and her accounts this you know i was on trade show today and you know this person's already at five figures and i've been doing it longer and now that's just stolen your joy. That's stolen your own accomplishments today. And the reason why someone's grass is greener is only because that they committed to it. Nothing different. You know, you're not able to get the results. You're not able to get the results from the work that you don't do, you know, plain and simple. So what are your grass? Focus on what it is that you've got, you know, your situation, developing self. You have no idea, you know, what somebody went through to get their results. People look at, you know, um, the end result they don't see the hustle they just look at you know okay this is where they are now but you don't know what people's struggle was to get you know to their chapter whatever they're in while you're in your chapter two they're in their chapter 222 and you think that you can just hop skip and jump but the truth is not a lot of people people want to want to come for your spot but they don't necessarily want to do what it takes to play your position right so that's going to be very important so let's just go through really quickly some things that you can expect in this journey of building your business because though it's an amazing business though it's a very rewarding business both financially you know both with your your time freedom and with your you know financial freedom there's going to be some things that you that you may um experience and i just want you to know that it's completely normal okay it's completely normal to go through the breakup okay what do i mean you guys are going to be elevating in this season you're going to be elevating you're going to be doing things daring to do things that the majority of the world just don't do that's going to put you on a higher level of playing field but as you elevate there's going to be an element of separating that elevation is actually required for you to separate from some things that might be people that you're normally talking on the phone to for you know two hours you don't have the time to do that anymore you know that might be some you know family members that just don't understand where you're going in this season and that might come with some guilt you know it might even be that you're spending less time with the kids you know i know there's a lot of mummy guilt that happens when you're doing things for the greater good um, and the truth is a lot of this is normal that's why i just want to bring it to your attention that it's okay and it's only for a season okay it's only for a season and um, so for you to guys to elevate i just want you guys to really understand that there's certain things that you won't be able to do as you go higher but to bring other people up with you to where you're going you might be doing this for your family doing it for your children you know doing it for your last name but you have to be up to pull others up with you right and um, so just know that there may be you know that feeling of guilt is completely okay it's completely normal um, and there's going to be some sacrifice there's definitely going to be some sacrifice because success requires sacrifice there's no really way to go up without giving up right and um, and that's something that we're going to also be looking at there you go it's a law you know there's no sacrifice without victory 
there's no sacrifice without victory. And, you know, when we, when you're building this billion dollar franchise, you're definitely going to be, you know, giving some things up. It looks glamorous when you see, you know, the chairman 100s, the chairman 750s, but well, the truth is they would have had to give up to go up. They would have had to give up to go up. And I think the biggest misconception, misconception about being uber wealthy and uber successful is that this is something that isn't like a one-time payment. So when it comes to success, you don't just give a one-time, you know, sacrificial thing and it's, and, and it's done. It's consistent. So the higher you go, the more you give up. You continually give up to go higher, right? And um, as it says here, the law of sacrifice is to give up to go up. Something that is a lower nature for something of a higher nature. So you're not just doing this for the simple sake of doing it. You know, there's a it's a risk to reward. You're taking a small risk now. You're doing things now that might be your time. That might be, you know, spending certain time that you normally, you know, do with spouse or whatever that is. Um, but it's, for a, it's so that you can have more time to do that in the future. It's so that you can have more vacations. It's so that you can have, you know, all the things that your heart desires. You're doing things now so that you can do more later. They say if you stay small enough, long enough, you'll be big enough soon enough, right? Um, so, for example, it says in order to enjoy an extraordinary success in life, we have to sacrifice our time put in effort and be disciplined to work for what we want to achieve we want to be persistent and persevere to work on what we want in order to achieve it okay that's from bob proctor who is partnered you know in our academy and like you can see this is me right here i'm not exempt from this in fact i have to do reminders and you know put pictures with words on just so i can remember that if i don't sacrifice what i want if i don't sacrifice to get what i want now basically then what I want will become the sacrifice. And that is so true. You know, sometimes we just need that reminder. We just need that encouragement. In fact, The life important. of a leader can look glamorous to people on the outside. But the reality is that leadership requires sacrifice. A leader must give up to go up. And there you go. <laughs> in the words of John Maxwell, right? And we'll be looking at some of his texts. So let's get into a heart of gratitude. So there, here's some practical steps um, that I want you guys to start doing from today. Okay, this is something that we've had in Rich You and, and the reason why we're doing this series because sometimes you take for granted when you've been on a, on a journey or a part of something for so long that people that are brand new have no idea that we have certain tools and resources, habits, behaviors that basically equal, you know, where it is that you're going on this road to riches and gratitude is a huge part of attracting you know the things that you want um, and I want you guys from today to start making gold cards okay start making gold cards what is a gold card well a gold card is something that has your gold on it okay maybe one main goal and it starts with a heart a grateful heart because the, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks right and it says I am so happy and grateful now that I am and then you would write whatever it is and um, the goal in there. You don't necessarily have to write the date. You know, if you're saying that you're happy and grateful now, you want to have that same energy. You want to have that same enthusiasm as if it's happening right now, as if you have, you know, that thing right now. Um, and we do have these and um, I'll, I'll drop some in the community where you can put your picture in it as well. You can let's say, simply write this on a piece of card um, or you can, you know, have access to these. I will drop all these resources again um, inside our community. So you guys um, can have access, but I want everyone to be in agreement that from today, this is your homework. So we're going to have homework when it comes to these um, sessions as well, when it comes to building your business. And um, because what we want to see is progress. Yes, you guys are going to be amazing note takers, but you're going to be even better action takers because that's really, you know, where the wealth is in taking action. You know, I've never seen a rich note taker. Okay, your notes have to transform off the page, right? And um, so this is your first piece of homework. Take a screenshot, just simply writing down the things that you are wanting to achieve, right? Write that down. Um, and maybe put it in the back of your phone, something you know, if you guys have got phone cases um, in, in your wallet, whatever you're carrying around. As a reminder, when you're going to read that thing each and every day, you're going to remind yourself what the goal is and know that goals are to be achieved. So this is not something that's just going to be an everlasting goal like a, 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 a antique um, picture. You're going to be working towards the goal and your goals are going to change and elevate and upgrade. And it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely amazing and um, so let's have an understanding of the kind of business that we're in okay we're definitely in the people business okay we're in the people business and in a people business that means that we have customers 
And our business office is our home. It's a home-based business. It's a business that can be done remotely from anywhere in the world, okay? This is a business that's very unique, but a business model that has been very, very uberly successful for the likes of Apple, you know, for the likes of, um, what's his face, Microsoft, because both of their businesses um, that you know today as Microsoft and Apple started in their garage. They started doing this at home with a group of, you know, people that seem weird, um, that now we would call efficient thinkers and, you know, geniuses. And um, so know that even if you have, you know, your little spot in your home, whatever that is, you know, maybe it's overcrowded right now and it looks crazy. Listen, that's literally, you know, the, the making of your franchise, of your billion dollar franchise. So, but businesses need customers. So are all these customers going to be coming into your house? <laughs> no, you know, they're going to be leads that you're going to be finding, you know, in the world and online. And throughout this series, we're going to look at attractive marketing and how to attract people, not to your home, but to your home-based business, right? Um, and a person who buys goods or services from a shop or a business is a traditional customer. Now, our product is money. Our product is education. And people have been paying for education. People have been buying education. I'm sure you're one of the hundreds of thousands, millions that have bought or paid for education. So this is not an unusual concept. This is not an over analysis paralysis situation. There's literally somebody right now that maybe you haven't exposed your business to who's about to go and enroll onto an online course for a couple thousand for a 30 day period and will not buy an eyelid. Okay. Will not even buy an eyelid. Maybe that same person you have exposed. And when you said free M um, 25, they said, oh my gosh, free 25 or 200 a month. I don't have it. But all of a sudden they had a couple of grand for another course and it was just simply the way how they received the value in what was being sold, how it was marketed marketed to them, that they saw that as, you know, something that um, was worth them redeeming, you know, uh, handing over their thousands. So what you're going to find and what we're going to learn is the difference between leads, prospects, and what's the one at the bottom? Customers. <laughs> so customer is the goal. But not everybody is a customer. You don't want every customer. Like we declare every day, quality people join our business every day. Let's move this out of the way so I can read at the bottom. So at first, you're going to be attracting leads to your business. And we're going to show different strategic ways of how we do that. So leads are going to be many. There's going to be many, many leads, but the funnel is wide. That's the first stage. There are going to be lots of people coming through whatever funnels you're creating. Then you're going to funnel them down into prospects. These are people that are not just randoms. They're a little bit more, they're prospective clientele. Now you're becoming more selective, right? Now you're 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 separating the serious from the curious um, and you're qualifying them to convert them into customers and the big thing with our business our industry is that yes it is a numbers game it is definitely a numbers game it's not always about who you want to work with but it's about who wants to work with you you always going to want quality over quantity and so we're going to explore some different ways how um, you can achieve that a lot of you guys are asking about flyers a lot of you guys are asking about websites all these things are amazing and they're great, but I want you guys to be fully equipped, having a plan, having clear direction so that you can effectively, as this happens, I want automation to be your friend, you know, so that you're able to work smartly so that you don't have an issue that when you do start getting thousands of leads, you have no time or how and way to even get through them, contact them, what do you do next, etc. So I hope that makes sense. Got ones in the chat if this is making sense so far, we're almost done. We're almost about to wrap up. I told you this is going to be, you know, quite light as far as um, just the introduction. So when it comes to getting these leads, when it comes to, you know, finding these customers, the first thing, the most imperative thing as a new business owner that you want to do is make the list. Make the list list okay this is something that we even use in our verbiage you know when we are letting people know congratulations you made the list but if you don't have a list then how do people make the list so it's it's important to physically do some things i think a lot of things in life me i believe are spiritual so you might have a recollection in your mind of okay sally susie or my doctor this 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 and the other but the power of writing that down the manifestation of just writing those names on the paper number one this person number two this person okay writing is i'm writing their contact number by it 
listen, it's going to, this is going to be a big part of um, the leads that are coming into your business. It's going to, this is going to be the lifeline of your business, your list. Your list is going to be something that continually updates. Um, and we even have a skill to how you make your list, guys. Um, more resources that are available um, inside Rich that you guys may not know of. Um, what, this one is the memory jogger. So if you were told to make a list right now of 25 names, you might be thinking, oh, but no, not him because of this and not them because of this and that kind of thing right you might just write off all the people that you know because you just feel like they're just not going to be um quality or they won't qualify you know to work with you and you know fair enough what this memory jogger does it really helps you to think of people that maybe you didn't think of so look at this you've got um people you look up to you've got people in your group or organization and um, people who are married, you've got business owners somewhere, homeowners, there's all different types of, you know, people and there's like five in each one that you put there. So this is another resource that I'll drop in the community again. So you guys have access to, and your second piece of homework is that I want you to start making your list. Okay. Even if you've already made a list, start making another one, just go through this, just treat it as an exercise and don't think about what you're going to do after you've written their name down just simply write the names down, okay? Just simply look at it as, like I said, um, some kind of assignment. People who are interested in you, it says here, well, who are they? You know, it's gonna really help just kind of get you um, get you thinking, get, your, get those juices pouring. So just drop ones if you guys understand the memory jogger piece and you are looking forward to, you know, making this list with your memory jogger, right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now you are open. The day you said yes to being rich, you are open. Your business is open. So now it's time to prepare to launch. We've, we've started making the list. You know, we've started jogging our memory. We've started to really get ourselves in a frame of mind that, okay, we are professionals now. We are looking for um, prospective clientele. So now you need to let the world know. You need to prepare for your launch. You need to let people know you are open. Never has there been a business that did um, and, uh, that didn't do an opening or didn't market the fact that they were going to be there just popped up and then hoped for the best yeah you're not just going to hope that people all of a sudden are going to come from the north east south and west there's always going to be some work on your part um, and so we're big on launching businesses here so what do you do first one you're going to do is just get excited just get excited. You're about to launch a $6.7 trillion franchise. Like you are the plug. You've got access. Look at all the things that, you know, we've spoken about today, the things that you've seen. So just get excited. Energy, where your energy flows, your money is always going to go. So this is going to be really important with your own mindset. You know, you'll notice if you listen to our leaders, if you listen to Dr. China, she says that she's excited a lot. Maybe she's not even that excited. Well, she tells herself she's excited. So what? She can become excited because her attitude is going to determine her altitude, right? You know, she'll talk to you and tell you, you know, that she laughs to herself sometimes. Whenever she feels that doubt or certain things, you know, a hubby will catch herself literally having a conversation, you know, uh, to herself, a pep talk, excitement, like just woo, just really, really getting excited. So get in the habit of really knowing how to shift your mood, you know, and flowing your energy in the right way. Might seem weird right now i know but get excited you're about to launch a 6.7 trillion dollar business which is going to be the answer to a world-class problem which is going to impact nations for generations that is something to be excited about so the next thing you want to do is simply send your list of 25 names to your upline to whoever it was that brought you in the business maybe it's you know it's a p1000 leader maybe you want to send it to me the best the, the 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 main thing is that you send the list okay you send that list upwardly you send your list of 25 names you want them to have names a contact number and how you know them okay so you want them to have the name of the person so that could be juliet then you want to have their contact number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how do you know Juliet? Well, you worked with Juliet, you know, at, I don't know, BT or AT&T. You know, you, it's a, someone in ministry, it's someone at the kids' school. You know, you want to make sure that you put that on. Why? Because what we actually practice, and some of you guys, we did this, you know, throughout the month of um, June on our chairman run, running the numbers, 
when somebody else actually calls your list of names, it takes away the feeling of rejection that a lot of us have with people that we know, you know, overthinking people in our phone book, already watching their pockets, you know, knowing that the person seen you last week asking for, you know, to borrow 50 quid or what have you. And so what we are big on doing is passing our list up. And especially when you're new, maybe you don't feel like you have the right verbiage, you know, maybe you don't really know what to say. So you're just going to pass on that list. Listen, this is like having a fully fledged, um, what you call it, you know, you've got an organization where now you've got like PAs and stuff, you've got a call center attached to your business now. So as you launch, all you have to do for your guest list is, um, you know, write that thing down and pass it on, you know, to the Royal Call Center squad that are going to go ahead and now contact those people on your behalf. So it's important that the name is clear, how you know them. Um, and their contact number, obviously, okay? And they're going to prepare to invite them to your launch. So the next thing, so you're going to send out the invites. So you might think, what invites? I, I don't have any invites. How am I going to send them an invite? You know, if this was a real party, you know, I'd have some nice, you know, kind of flyers done. But guess what? This is a rich party. So you will have an amazing flyer done like you've seen in the past. We, every single time we launch somebody, we have a beautiful, amazing theme. There we go. Gurnam the Great. Shout outs to you. A rich Indian launch was amazing. And shout out to Miss Break Bread, you know, being that she works in the medical field. Um, she had a 911, 911 state, of state of emergency. Yes. Let's go. Your finances need CPR, right? Um, and what I'm going to show you guys to do um, throughout this series, um, by God's grace, I'm going to show you guys how to use Canva and other tools where you actually can make your own flyers. And um, we do have people within Rich that can do this, but I really like being, um, what's the word? Um, when it comes to my business, I like being in charge, right? I like to be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. There you go. And um, so you don't have to necessarily rely on somebody else. And, um, you know, I just, that, that, that's me. Not everybody m might have the desire to do this, but um, it's something that I want us to do and, and you guys have requested a lot. And it's really, really simple. <laughs> really, really simple. A lot of these apps are kind of automated. They've got templates and um, all of these I did on Canva. And I saved myself so much money. You're a business. Businesses want to keep their, in their incoming, what do you call it? Their outgoings low and what's coming in high, right? And I realized how much money I was spending on flyers. And when I realized that I could just upgrade my Canva for, I think it's like $7 a month. Oh my gosh. All the things that I was paying people to do for me, I was able to do. And once I've done kind of one or two, all I can do is just swap, you know, swap things around. So who's looking forward to having some tutorials on making their, excuse me, making their own flyers. Mm, I think you can use mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Can you use Canva on um, Instagram? I'm sure I saw some. Please. Um, you can use Canva on the um desktop. Um, I'll be showing you guys the mobile version, but there are um, I think Miss Millionaire and also um uh, Miss Amaya J. They have done some tutorials where they use Canva on the desktop. You know, on the laptop. Um, I don't know about Instagram. I don't think so. It's a separate um, yeah. entity. So that I don't know about that, but I'll be showing you guys the mobile version, which is really quick and um, simple. And I'll also drop links to, um, you know, the desktop as well, because some people prefer to work, work like that. But what I love or what, we, what we've what we been doing in Rich UK, which I think is effective, if we leverage it effectively, a lot of people also want websites, okay? And when we do launches, effectively, you've got a piece of, you know, you've got video footage. Videos can live on YouTube. YouTube is the biggest platform in the world when it comes to exposing, you know, people to something that a skill, you, a skill that you guys now have access to. Remember, you know, you're, we're, we're selling education. You know, we've got a skill set here. Our product is money. We want to get that out to the masses. And where do people go to get this kind of information? If somebody wants to know how to trade, the first one they go to YouTube, how to trade and things of that nature. So we want to learn how to also leverage the algorithm. Um, and when you guys have your launches, um, and you can launch as many times as you want, you want to definitely launch your new team members, which will go through this. And um, when we start moving um, onto our P150 boot camps, et cetera, you want to launch your people definitely within their first week. Then um, really big, rich say in your first 72 hours. Um, but really your first week, you want to be thinking about launching. You don't want to overthink this. And launching 
you can launch as many times as you want. Dr. China still launches. This is biz, big Coca-Cola still have launches. Okay, this is a big part of um, business. And what I like to do, if you guys have noticed, and I want to make sure that we're doing this more effectively, is that I turn your launch into, um, into its own web space, you know, so that you've archived it forever. So let me show you what I mean. So if you guys were launching tomorrow, so let's go back to 911 state of emergency, which was phenomenal. And um, obviously Miss Break Bread, she works in the medical field with identified, you know, she's a nurse. She's somebody that now represents other nurses. So look how many nurses that there are. That's a target market. That's people um, who can look to Miss Break Bread and say, wow, well, if she's a nurse and she's a traveling nurse and this, that, and the third, and she's doing this, you know, she just made this money in her sleep. You know, she just tapped a few buttons and made money in minutes. Then maybe I could do that too. But maybe you sent out some invites for your call for your launch and they didn't make it, you know, or maybe your launch passed and then, you know, you still want to meet people and think, well, how can I plug them into what I'm doing? So what I um, started to do, um, oh, it won't let me... It won't let me click on the link. So let me do this. Let's do this. Let's pause the, the share and show you is that we turn it into a website. So I'll just go over here. Okay, here we go. So we zoom. So here's the medical money website. So it's got various functionality. First of all, at the time when your launch is coming up, so your big launch day, this is going to be a link where people to come and can come and register. You know, they'll be able to see your beautiful, amazing invite flyer. And look at this. They'll be able to complete this. This is all to do with the theme of um, medical money, of, you know, giving your finances CPR. So this is a prescription on this uh, in this case. Complete the form below. And um, right now it's for future opportunities because the call is, um, is over. Before the call happens, it will say for future uh, register um, for the call or, you know, for to complete your registration, to lock your spot, something along those lines, right? And once they fill in the form, you know, they'll put all their information in, fill in the form. Even if it's not your call, this is the great thing about group economics. This is the great thing about the type of networking business that we're in. You can leverage everything. So the more launches that there are, even if it's not your direct team, you know, this is an opportunity for you to also target some nurses that are in your area. Miss Break Bread isn't going to, you know, enroll every single nurse in the stratosphere. Maybe you know some nurses that Miss Break Bread doesn't know. You're in the UK, you know, she's in Florida. You're in, you know, Timbuktu, what have, you know, you've got a, you've got a market there. So when they come to the site, they're able to type here your name because it says who referred you? How did you hear about us? You know, how do you come in to get this prescription? How did you know we existed? So here they might put, oh, Bridget, you know, Bridget told me, you know, maybe you was on a live. Um, and you promoted this, you know, you just said go to medicalmoney.com and that person came here and they put, you know, I was on Trillionaires Live, that kind of thing. And what will that, what will happen then? When that information comes through the back end, you will get presented with that lead. Remember, our business is customer based. We are relying on leads. So the more things that you can do to attract more eyes to your business, the better guys. And then what will happen post the call, post the call look at this it will be archived on here forever so each time that we do a launch no one actually you'll see, with ooh, telegrams they want to have my this was actually fun remember this break bread it was so fun i actually put on my doctor's jacket and everything yes um, yes yes the background <laughs> the background and yes. we had the alarms going Did so jacket on what's that okay <laughs> yeah so it was really fun let's see if we can hear let's see really quick to really go ahead and bring you this information I have the today. Let's For those who don't know, oh, gosh. So I'm, I'm all, I'm always about the atmosphere. I'm always so about the vibe. Good. It's the vibe for me. Who is a part of your own tribe? Anyway, because so the truth of the matter you is, you know, we. I can't hear the sirens, but you always want to create you know excitement. You always want to create you know energy. People really, people remember. Um, their experience more than information okay so if they had a good experience I remember that more um, and here's another this would have been up there you know it was, it's a call with Dr. Jude and all the queens of crypto about investing this would have been up there before the call happened so that they can see an idea of what they're going to be installed for um, and what I want us to do continually is to build on these sites so 
as you have testimonies from other nurses and Miss Great Bread has testimonies, you know, the videos that you make, you can even connect your um, Instagram to these. Let me see, which one did I just do that? Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys, don't worry, you probably look at this thinking, how the heck? Once you've done one, you can literally start doing several. Um, so this one right here, I mean, I do these all the time because I've done one. So Beautiful. all I do, all I do, thank you is duplicate the site and change the, um, here you go. So now I've learned how to put your Instagram feed on here as well. So you can scan this. So, um, well, where's my barcode? Oh my gosh, it's moved down there. It should be up there, so I'll edit that. But yeah, so what, I, what I'd love to see when you guys do your calls, so maybe you're targeting, I don't know, um, you're in the mental health field, for example, and when you wanna target other people, you know, that are in the mental health field. So you're gonna have, um, access, uh, but people are going to have access to this, a page where you can say, you know, go to um, my money's mental, I don't know, wherever, catchyslogan.com, and they'll be able to connect with you so they can scan your QR code. That means that they can follow you on your social media. Very important. You always want to give people a call to action, you know, once they're seeing something that they like, so they know how to reach you. Um, and testimonies. Testimonies are going to be huge. Testimonies are absolutely huge. Let's see, we do have one with loads of testimonies. I think it's rich free trial.com because people want to know, okay, well, you know, does this really work for real? Right. So you want to have your, if you are, you know, you've done a launch, what happened after the launch? Was that it? You did the launch and you disappeared. Track your journey, you know, let's see what happened. Okay. I've just started this rich 300 trade show, blah, blah, blah. And if you come on here, you'll see that there's many a testimony, you know, your keeper was like, one week rich when she did that testimony and it was off the back of a free trial you know crystal's testimony was ten dollars to like three hundred dollars or something like that it doesn't have to be lots and lots of money but you want people to be able to come to your um, landing page it's something we're going to be working on and developing and um, where they can also see your journey this is very attractive marketing guys um, and then we'll show you how to have these things showing up in search engines and you your marketing is a story that's always being told, okay? There's something when you're not physically talking to somebody, you're sleeping. We talk about making money in our sleep, right? Your residual is something that you're, you, you, do, you do one time, you did one call, and that one call is being leveraged over and over and over again, okay? So that's, you know, you're preparing to launch your business, sending out your invites, um, and then we have your amazing launch call. So I want you all, you guys to be thinking about that. Even if you've already launched, doing another launch, maybe you've got somebody that you've just partnered with, that you've just brought on board. Now think about doing their launch. Think about a theme, a niche market um, that we can just get these. So we want to we wanna have more launch calls that we can fit in a week. That We've just got these things back to back to back to back. And we've got, you know, so many amazing landing pages that we can send people to and all these different, you know, targets and, you know, niche groups of people. It really really helps okay so guys that was your intro that was your beginnings your business builders for beginners just wanted to really open up those um you know open up the mind expose you to the kind of things that we're going to be doing and now all roads are going to lead to the p150 boot camp like what the heck do i do now there's three people in my back office where do i put them what does the structure look like you know how do i organize this thing what's my role what's my responsibility here you know do i now have to go and do my own group chats you know how do i um you know do welcome band and you know things of that nature so um i want us to um start thinking a little bit more um systematically so that it doesn't feel like we, we're just doing things you know by accident i want us to be you know a lot more intentional and um, so that we can have better results and quicker results so yes that concludes our business building 101 um, let me know if you guys have got any thoughts, feedback, questions, or concerns. And I'm just excited for us to venture out into this um, business building world together. Yes, great session. I loved it, Miss UK. Thank you so much for this uh, this call you did today. I, I think it was much needed.